Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on understanding decimals further. Decimals are a special way of writing down parts of a whole number. We saw this concept earlier when we discussed how fractions were just parts of a whole number. Different parts of a decimal. A decimal can have many different parts. Each of these parts has a very important role to play when it comes to the actual value of the decimal. Consider the decimal 0 0.3. Note that there is a single digit after the decimal point. This gives us a vital clue as to the actual value or the size of this decimal. Assume that the diagram above represents 1 MAB long, consisting of 10 shorts. We've seen that before. Let the above long represent one whole unit. It could be a pizza, a cake, a length of timber, or anything else. So you can let this MAB long represent anything, as long as it's one whole unit. Notice that we have divided the above whole unit into 10 equal parts. Notice that three of these parts are coloured red. The fraction of the whole which is coloured red is 3 out of 10. That is quite obvious. As a decimal, this is 0 0.3. So the 3 represents 3 parts out of 10 parts. So when you have a single digit after the decimal point, that is how many parts out of 10? That's what the 3 means. If it was a 7, it would be 7 parts out of 10. Now, here is our long. Again, there it is there. I just want to stress this again. There's our long. There are our 3 shaded parts which represent 3 out of 10. That is 3 are shaded from the whole 10 and that equals 0 0.3. So the 3 represents tenths. So just repeating, when you have a single digit to the right of the decimal point it represents tenths. In conclusion 0 0.3 represents three parts of a whole unit which has been divided into 10 parts. What does 1.3 mean? The two longs at the bottom give us a great clue regarding the meaning of 1.3. So here are the two longs at the bottom that we're talking about and that's going to help us understand the meaning of 1.3. The 1 to the left of the decimal point represents one whole unit. So this 1 here represents this whole unit. The 3 to the right of the decimal point represents three parts of the whole unit. It is 3 tenths. So this 3 here represents those three parts there, which are three parts out of 10. So it is 3 tenths. That's that 3 there. So the first single digit to the right of the decimal point represents tenths. What happens when we have two digits after the decimal point? What do they mean? Let's have a look on the next slide. The above picture represents an MAB flat. There are 100 squares representing one unit. So all these squares here, they can represent one whole unit, whatever that might be. Assume it is a block of chocolate divided into 100 smaller squares. So this is a block of chocolate, that's the unit, and it's been divided into 100 smaller squares. Notice that 17 of the units are shaded brown. 
Here they are. There they are there. So 17 of them have been shaded brown. As a fraction, this represents 17 over 100 of the whole unit. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because 17 have been shaded brown and there are 100 altogether. We say 17 hundredths. That's how we say this fraction. So the 17 represents hundredths. Finally, 17 hundredths can be divided into tenths and hundredths. That is, the 0 0.17, which is 17 hundredths, can be divided into, there's one tenth, which is this one, and there are seven hundredths, which is this one. So there are two ways to interpret this. Let's look at it carefully. The first way, 17 hundredths, and the second way, one tenth plus seven hundredths. Now that's quite straightforward. However, please feel free to replay the video at any time and to stop any slide to help with your understanding.